here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Now, if you've been following the story, or if you've been listening for a while, you know we've covered this, uh, that Colt is you know one of the most recognizable brands, frankly, on the earth, I think. And, you know, an old line gun company, and then it was either merged or purchased, depending on how you want to, you know, position it, uh, by CZ a few years ago, or not long ago. And our friend Paul Spitale joins us right now, formerly with Colt, now still with Colt, but also running herd over at CZ. Hey, Paul. How you doing, Tom? I'm good. Now, you've been very uh, forthright about telling us what's going on, and man, when you got this purchase, you said this is going to really help Colts. It's going to pour some money in. You're going to have some resources. Now you've got some time behind you after that. How's everything going? Yeah, it's been terrific, Tom. I mean, the, the one thing that's really exciting for me is is the fact that we have resources that we, you know, we were we were fighting hard in 16 and 17 to come through a restructuring and uh, to make the company stronger and and right now we feel very blessed that we're in a situation where you know we have 2000 employees in this company worldwide you know combined revenues of over 600 million dollars and uh wow. and we have you know we have a beachhead not only in West Hartford of which you're familiar but also in uh Orsky Broad Czech Republic um Dan Weston has a facility in Norwich New York and um, our Kitchener, Ontario facility for Coal Canada. So I feel very comfortable and, and really um, feel great that we have this moment to uh, make the company even stronger. Our reporting this year has been uh, tremendous, financial reporting. And on the commercial side of the business, where I kind of have the most influence, right. um, you know, Colt this year, we're, we're up double digits in, a, in an industry, which you know, you've probably heard from others and some of the companies that have reported, it's down more than 30% this year. And, um, and certainly the, the folks at CZUSA are doing far better than that. So we feel very, very good about where we're positioned. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a great time. I mean, I, I, you know, I've said it to you before, but very rarely do you have a company that has 187 years of history and it has all these green space opportunities in front of it like we do at Cole. Well, and you keep cranking out, you know, good products. I guess, you know, the, the question that everybody's wanting to know right now is, okay, how are we doing on production? Because everybody wants a Python. Everybody wants an Anaconda. Everybody wants the, the revolvers that you're making in Colt. How's it going in terms of getting them out the door? Well, you know, it, 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 it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough challenge that we have and that we created such a such a demand for the product and if i go back to 17 when we started the you know the revolver quest um we're talking today we're we're producing eight or nine times that number uh so wow um i know we haven't caught the demand yet but but in perspective we we've taken a huge share of the industry and we're producing more guns um in revolvers than we've produced in in many many decades so um, I, 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 I don't know how to be as, as grateful as we are. And the consumers have been so, um, gracious with us in terms of their support. Um, you know, and, and, and the one that, you know, kind of got short shifted this year was the 22. We, we came up with a, uh, incredible King Cobra, which was 22 long rifle. The first right. time cold ever did a 10 shot, uh, revolver. And we shipped a few pieces in the second half, but, but, Clearly, we didn't have the production capability we needed to to get out more of those, and um, we're working and in, in our production team and the, all the folks in in uh, operations are you know doing backflips. But I can tell you that literally from the moment we started in this revolver thing, we're we're you know eight times that kind of uh, velocity coming through our facility. So it's not anything we're taking lightly. We're working every day to build more of them for our consumers. All right, give people a, an update, and people who may not even know, I mean, how old CZ is. I mean, it's an old-line European company making some of the most iconic guns in the world. A little background and kind of where we are today with CZ. Yeah, it's it's really a, it's an incredible uh, company. The CZ-75 has a story history. Um, you know, the, the, the Czech Republic, if you look back at the facility in Orsky Brad, it's, 
it's an amazing facility. I had a chance to visit it a couple months back, and um, it's more than a million square feet of building space. It's built wow. in a, um, kind of in a wartime. Um, in fact, uh, the, you would think you're in a village, then you would think you're in a, uh, a firearms facility, and that was purposeful. Um, that was made uh, during World War II to, to uh, kind of keep hidden uh, the production of the guns at that oh, time. But to keep but like you getting said, bombed. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, so in any event, it's it's a uh, it's a very very uh, proud company, and um, you know the the one thing that we whether it's um, Yandra Hoda, our, our chairman and CEO, there's just such pride of having a brand like Colt in the portfolio of of the and and by the way, they changed the name of the organization. It used to be the CZ Group. Now it's the, officially the Colt CZ Group. So. Um, oh, wow. There's a tremendous amount of pride in in uh, what we've been able to do, and and making uh, for what I think is, you know, one of the mantras that we have internally is just stronger together, and uh, we feel that on every level. And the, for those who don't know, the, the Colt, uh, not Colt, the CZ75 semi-auto pistol, is one of the iconic, one of the great designs. You know who was a big fan of that design? It's going to surprise I people. Know. It was Jeff. Colonel Cooper. I know I you know this, say, but I, I know, yeah. Colonel Jeff Cooper loved the CZ-75. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny because the two most, probably the two most replicated and, and, and manufactured pistols are the 1911 and the CZ-75 worldwide. So it's kind of interesting that both of those bookends are tied in with our company now. And, uh, oh, that's and, true. You know, there's plenty of, there's other things that I'm excited about with CZ. They do, you know, the, the business that they've created in shotgunning is tremendous. The value that they've created for uh, the shotgunner and the, and the sporting community is fantastic. Um, they're also, with the Scorpion products, they have some really – um, tremendous auto loading products, and then if you mm-hmm. consider like the Bren, the platform of the Bren, which su- serves the Czech Army, they have a lot of. And, and then you know beyond that, this, what they've done in the competitive world with the Shadow products, you know they have a very a full complement of products. And um, I had a chance uh, the other day, and, and some folks within the media, I know you guys are going to have access to to shoot some of these 22s. I mean, the accuracy on these hammer forged barrel. A 22 long rifle um, CZ products are just amazing, and uh, so it's exciting. It's you know to have that and and have all that we got going on at Colt. It's it's super exciting time. Well, and I know that you're having an event out at Gunsight this week, and Ryan's going to be out there. So yeah. can you like uh, lift the uh, the lid just a little bit and let us know <laughs> maybe something that's going to be coming? Well, well, I can tell you this. Um, there's going to be a few changes and a few updates on the revolver line. So um, beyond the 22, which I've mentioned, um, the King Cobra 22, which I think, you know, thus far we've had a tremendous response to that product. Um, right. But also, you know, the flavors of the Python. So the three-inch Python is something we're going to be talking more and more about. That is, uh, you know, well, we think it's about the best balanced um uh, Python that we've come up with, and and we're really excited about that. And then we have one other surprise in the revolver front that uh, awaits Ryan uh, next week out at Gunsight. So we're excited when about I, that. You remember when you first brought the Pythons down to Louisiana before anybody else had seen them? You brought yep. the six and the four and a quarter, and the, I shot it. And I said, "Okay, that's great." And the first thing I did is I turned around and said, "I want a three inch." The yep. first words yep. out of my mouth. Yeah, and yep. I am so glad you have it. People don't understand how good a three-inch three fifty-seven Magnum revolver is. It is, um, and, and and again, you, you're echoing the comments of a number of writers and and a number of folks in our industry that have said that to me over the years, and and I've taken it to heart. And the first version we did that was in the three-inch King Cobra, which was a huge success for the company, and. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, we expect that the Python will be equally as successful. Um, and then there'll be some other things at Gunsight where there's an MSR platform uh, that we're going to be uh, talking about a new a new product that uh, we're excited about. That is, is kind is of that a, out a of Colt or CZ. Out of, this is out of Colt. This is out of Colt, oh, and okay. uh, this will be uh, a little bit of an evolutionary step to the M4 platform. And um, we're mm. excited to show the the folks that and. 
you know, it's always it's always good to see everybody, but it's also good to have such a uh, a, a bullpen of new things that we're going to be showing our con- our consumers. There you go. And, and the websites, for those who are trying to find them, are colt.com uh, and then cz-usa.com. Correct. That is correct, Tom. Well, Paul, you guys have fun out at Gunside. I wish I could be there, but we can't all be everywhere at the same time. So I know you'll have fun with Ryan. <laughs> I know. I always do. And uh, like I said, we're we're just uh, so happy for the support you guys have given us. And, uh, and hope for your, uh, your listeners enjoy the Colt products and CZ USA products coming up. Well, we're excited about finding out what else is coming, so keep us posted, please. All right, will do. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that. Paul Spitali from Colt and CZ, two great companies. 